when I started volunteering with Lassie, um, we rarely, rarely had volunteers uh, because we were not really known then. Um, we also get volunteer vets, uh, which were very rare, but now we get volunteer vets um, throughout the whole year and also shelter volunteer who help us deal with uh, the welfare of the dogs um, like I do. We offer two different types of volunteering. Um, one is for either veterinary students or qualified vets of which they will come to the clinic, um, assist the doctors with whatever they need, um, help with procedures and medicine. Um, so they'll look after lots of sick animals and then we offer shelter volunteers who will come and help us look after the dogs, either the healthy ones or the ones in the clinic, cats. Um, so they'll help walk them, feed them, any other jobs that need doing, in regards to maybe cleaning, or just helping out in general to make their lives better with the animals. When we get volunteers coming in, we would expect them um, to walk our dogs because uh, we run the shelter in front of a resort so we need to make sure our dogs are exercised and that they don't make too much noise and so we try to tire them and we, we, we try to take their attention off uh, things and try to stimulate them um, if possible as much as we can um, and then they also help with the feeding and with uh, looking into the welfare of the cats and the dogs, anything that needs to be done, um, cleaning ears, uh, cleaning their eyes, even showering them or, or clipping their fur. Um, and, and also in the afternoon, uh, the volunteers will work with the dogs again um, to let them out in their yard uh, to play around and to check on, on them. Also on the side, if we need to go outside to catch some strays, or do carpentry for you know maintenance for, for the shelter if, if they're willing to. Um, so anything, anything that needs to be done, there is a scope of job, but there's also a wider scope because we are a charity and we're a, you know we're a charity so so we don't have enough people and we're dealing with animals. So we get a lot of things coming through every day, unexpected things sometimes, and so we need volunteers to uh, to just you know go and deal with whatever needs to be dealt with. So I look after the welfare of all of the volunteers, staying with us, um, any problems, issues they may have, or help them show them around to town, take them for dinner. Uh, but then we always get you never know what every day is going to be like because we will get a call from a local or a tourist who's seen an injured animal or a stray animal that's in distress that may need picking up. So then we have to be ready to go and try and find that animal, bring it into the clinic to look after it for treatment. We have a Lassie Facebook and we have a Lassie uh, website. You can contact us at info at langkawilassie.org.my to inquire about volunteering opportunities as a vet uh, as a vet student or as a shelter volunteer. Or if they email in, we, the first email we send includes all the information, for example, what they'll be doing day to day, and how long we ask them how long they want to stay. So most of our volunteers stay around two weeks, um, but then we have had some which stay two months, three months, or more longer term. Um, which especially in the shelter is good because it always takes a while for the animals. There's certain shy ones, dogs especially, which take a while to get used to knowing a new person and then they slowly start to come out of their shell, which is really good.